Hi. Okay, for some reason, that feels really awkward today, so... This video wasn't even planned for me to do because... I don't know, I just wasn't gonna film a video today. But I had to get ready anyways. I thought I would just film myself getting ready because why not? First off, let me show you my inspo. This is my Pinterest in case you care about it. I wanna get like that really smoky, I don't know, like that smoky, that like smoky liner look. I don't even know how you explain it, but it's like that soft beige, smoky, real, you know, I, I just showed you my inspo, so that's what we're gonna try to do. I don't even know if I spoke English correctly right now. I'm moisturizing with the Earth Harbor Mermaid Milk Glow Moisturizer. Just a little bit, just to give our base like something to work with, be all nice and smooth. I started using sunscreen, but I don't need sunscreen right now because I'm not going outside. I'm doing a little photo shoot, but I'm literally dragging this in the most harsh way possible. I'm doing like a little photo shoot indoors. I don't really need sunscreen, but if I would to- if- Bro. If I were to put on sunscreen, this is what I would put on. It's really good because it doesn't leave me feeling um, like greasy and nasty. I'm gonna go in with my Curology lip balm thing. It's really cool if you like pop it out like that. It's cool. I really need to clean my beauty blenders like really bad. I need to clean all my brushes and beauty blenders, but that will be for another day. Okay, so oh, I just, fuck. I had to relocate. And this area is is just... Uh, I had to move locations in my house. And that's okay, we're gonna work with it. I'm starting with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and mine is in the shade 4.5 Medium. I'm gonna take this and put it on all the high points on my face. This is literally like a perfect shade match for me. My mirror is here. Okay, in case you see me looking over here a lot, it's because I have a mirror. I keep looking at my viewfinder too, and that is not good. High points down, down my nose, forehead a little bit, chin right here, and lastly on my eyelids and then just a little bit like right here beauty blender and just tap everything out what do i do next i'm not doing foundation okay this is a a no foundation look we're gonna go in with some concealer then we're using the ill maquillage Concealer and mine is in the shade 8. It's called the Mystique. And then I'm gonna take that in my little baby beauty blender, which I love so much. It is literally, this is literally the cutest thing ever. Take some of that and put that underneath my eyes. So I'm also gonna take some of that concealer and put it a bit over my pores and my acne not too much just to kind of correct the redness of it all i'm gonna go in with my laura mercier um translucent powder my medium sized beauty blender this is like my powder beauty blender i love these things these are from elf by the way i'm gonna take my powder and i'm gonna kind of bake I guess you could say. And I'm not blending it just yet. Yeah, so once you look crazy, that's when you know you're doing it right. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Actually, no. Actually, yeah. I need to go wet my spoolie. So I use a spoolie like this and I go wet that first. Okay. 
Okay, I take the Patrick Ta shaping wax thing in clear. So with the wet spoolie, I get in there and then brush that through the brow. I have recently been learning how to shape my own brows and I did them the other day and I didn't record them because I was scared that they weren't gonna turn out right since it was my first time doing it and they actually, they didn't come out that bad. I brush them up with the wax and then when it comes to my tail, I'll brush them like, you can tell what I'm doing, I'll brush them the way that the hairs goes and I keep it like that and then I take the like stick of the spoolie and I just paste them like that. I just get the wax in there. I just make sure that the wax literally glues onto my skin. Okay, I'm gonna go wet my spoolie again to do the other eye. Uh, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. As always, all the brushes that I use are in the description and a list of all the products that I use are down there as well. But now I'm gonna take off this powder on my eyes. This is my favorite thing to use for contour. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks and this one is in shade number three in Mocha. I'm gonna put it like in the tops of my cheekbone, so. Like that. And then I'm also gonna put it in my eyes like that, right? And I do one side at a time because I like to take my time with it and I don't want the formula to dry on my face immediately. Yeah, so I have this brush that used to be my old concealer brush. Drag that outwards. I saw this hack somewhere on TikTok and I've seen it once and I didn't save it so I don't really know if that's what you're supposed to be doing. But I'm gonna do it, so go like that and then contour all the way to my jawline back here. We are gonna take our powder again, bake right underneath where we did that contour. It can be messy, like. And then with whatever's left on this, you can just powder it anywhere, anywhere where you get oily. Now we're gonna work on our eyes. So I have this Morphe palette, it's the Nikita one. Okay, I'm gonna use shade Shape Shifter. I'm gonna blend that everywhere. So that's our like base color, you know? Take this on a more like compact crease brush and I'm gonna take the shade Seduction right here and I'm gonna focus this more on the outer upper part of my eye. You wanna make sure, at least for me, I like to keep a super light hand with this so I don't get the harshest lines ever. That's looking good so far. I'm gonna use my fluffy brush again and I'm just gonna take this off. I'm gonna take like this smudge brush looking thing and now I'm gonna take the same shade, the same one we just used, which is Seduction. And then I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing, but from underneath my eye, I'm also making like a really, really faint line that connects with the top. I have this um, like thicker looking angled brush. I'm taking the darkest brown right here and this one is in is called Temptation. And I'm gonna start making the outline of the wing. So you see, so I'm making the outline of it. Take a blending brush 
And I'm gonna blend over top of that. This one right here. And I'm gonna take it on the literal skinniest angled brush I have ever found in my entire life. Look at that. Yeah, it's super skinny. I take that black and I'm gonna draw a super skinny line with the black. And, and, and it's not even like, you don't even wanna get too much of it on. And this is gonna be like super skinny. Then you wanna keep using that black and you're gonna make an inner corner. Really skinny, as skinny as you can possibly get it, which is really, really hard. But we try. So this is a lip brush but we're using it for something different. I'm gonna use a little bit of this shade. It's called Papi Chulo. It's this one right here. It's like a dark shimmer color and I'm literally gonna take the smallest bit, just a little bit, and I'm gonna put it in my inner corner right on top of where I put the black. The rest is pretty easy. I'm just gonna comb out my lashes. My favorite mascara, it's the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm gonna take my MAC Bronzing Powder and Refined Golden and I'm gonna go over what we bronzed or what we contoured earlier. And then I like to go like this. Just put the powder like in my chin right here. I'm gonna take my MAC blush and this is in shade Love Thing. Taking that on this beauty blender, that's where that pink mark is from. I love putting it over my nose to make it look like I went to the beach or something. I'm gonna go in with more Flawless filter on the super high points of my face. And the absolute last step, which is actually one of my favorites, my Makeup by Mario highlighter. Extremely broken, but my Dior Lip Glow. This is like the chapstick one. And this one's in shade beige 013. So I get a little bit Makeup by Mario um, Illuminator glitter thing. Watch closely. Mm hmm You see that? You see that? Mm-hmm. Bet you never saw that coming. So now, Max Prep and Prime. Let's take this off. Ooh. Yeah, I love all of you and I'll see you in my next video.